everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my pamper routine. So I'm going to be walking you through what I like to do um, on a night in when I just want to have a little at home spa night. So I have some DIYs and then just some other things that I like to do to sort of set a relaxing atmosphere and make it feel like I'm in a spa at my house. So I'm just going to walk you through my routine and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So let's get started. The first thing I like to do is just make my environment around me really relaxing, as relaxing as possible. So I will use my essential oil diffuser and I really like this one that I got from Amazon because it has a lot of different colors um, so you can change the color to whatever suits your mood. And I'm using some lavender oil in this because that is just a very relaxing scent to me. So I will just put that in there and set it on the mist and it just has this really nice smell in the air. It's really important to me to have some relaxing music in the background. So if you have Amazon Prime you can actually choose from a bunch of different channels and I've been listening to this. Serenity Spa music. It's just very soothing sounds and really calms me down and I really really enjoy it. Nothing says relaxation more to me than a bubble bath so I'm going to show you how to make this DIY bubble bath that you can add into your bath and you're just going to need some pure Castile soap. I'm using Dr. Bronner's lavender and I'm just going to add a cup of that into my little measuring cup and I found this at my grocery store actually. And then you're also going to need one third of a cup of vegetable glycerin, which I got on Amazon. And then to that I am adding one tablespoon of distilled water and about 15 to 20 drops of my lavender essential oil. So this is going to be very lavender heavy, but like I said, I love that scent. So I'm just giving that a nice good mix. And then I just pour it into these little jars that I have. Um, they have a little lid, so that's what I use to store them. Um, but this doesn't last long for me because I use it all the time. So um, all you need to do is just pour a little bit into your running bath. And it doesn't make huge bubbles, but it makes um, little bubbles and it smells really, really good. Something that's really good for sore muscles and also for moisturizing your skin is a DIY bath soak. So to make this, I am adding one cup of organic oatmeal, one cup of Epsom salt, which is really good for tired and sore muscles, and 8 to 12 drops of essential oil. So for this one I'm using my eucalyptus oil because that's another scent that I really enjoy and it's really relaxing to me. So I'm just going to give this a quick stir and then add in a few more drops of my essential oil. And to store this I just put it in a mason jar and just seal the lid tightly and when you're ready to use it you can just put it into a little baggie. I got these little bags on Amazon in bulk for pretty inexpensive and I'll just add a few spoonfuls to one of the bags and I'll tie it off and then there's a few ways that you can use this. So what I actually like to do is hang it around my bath faucet while the water's running just to sort of have the water run over it and get everything going into the water. And then when I'm done running the water, I will take it off and just drop it directly into the bath and let it soak right with me. After a bath, I really like to moisturize my skin. So I'm making a DIY aloe mint body butter. So what you're going to need for this is a quarter cup of beeswax and half a cup of coconut oil. And you're just going to heat that in a pot on the stove over low heat and heat that and continue stirring it until the beeswax is fully melted. You don't want to see any little pieces floating around. Then I turned off the heat and added half a cup of room temperature aloe vera and an eighth of a teaspoon of my peppermint essential oil. I'm hand whisking that all together until it's well combined and then I'm letting it cool for two to four hours. You can also stick it in the fridge if you need it to cool a little bit faster. Then I'm just adding it to my KitchenAid mixer and whipping it all together until it has this nice whipped body butter consistency and then I just store it in a little container and it's ready to use. My pamper routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some useful tips for relaxing and having your own spa night. Let me know if you try out any of the DIYs and also leave any video requests in the comments below. And make sure you do give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please take a second to do that too. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!